Welcome to the NBA.com. This is John's report for the 24th. And we continue to just move sideways back and forth because really uh, there's no clarity as to any new information that would move the market in a significant direction. All we're getting is the support and then it fades off and we move in between our various algo points. Um, we still have continued rising uh, Morgan Achi lines here. So as the lows catch up to the sideways movement, um, the move towards that zero uh, is just pretty much stalled, waiting for it to catch up. We're going to narrow that range and then we'll get another expansion phase. Um, will that take days, weeks? We don't know yet. Um, we're not seeing anything from this, is, I mean, particularly from the SP. I mean, that shakeout is just like blah, which is sort of an indication of uh, no real strength momentum in any direction. It's just sort of pause. Uh, it's still slight bias to the upside here with the NASDAQ because of the very different shakeout where it's rising. Uh, had gotten a little overbought the other day here as we reached the yellow on the extremes, uh, but still holding up just fine. And this is, again, that same thing that we're seeing where in after hours they're able to drive it up. During the day, we kind of get a flight in between range, slightly weak, and uh, that usually progresses. And then, boom, the support is provided again. And we move back up uh, again. Euro maintaining uh, midway point, actually a little bit higher in that uh, zone that we've had for quite some time. And this just shows that uh, this isn't based on economics. This is just based on uh, reserve banks deciding uh, where the optimal range is, so that they can uh, maintain some semblance of balance worldwide. Uh, it's a very coordinated effort. Uh, and if you don't think so. Uh, doesn't normally trade like that, so it's a pretty clear indication of it. Um, from an oil standpoint, still hovering right around this 40 range. They just don't have enough impetus to uh, really push that uh, movement. And that's, again, going to be based on a uh, drawdown of the inventories, the economic activity. Uh, but the precursor of this uh, eventual move uh, higher with the market because of dollar devaluation is showing up right here in gold. That's why we pointed out, uh, it may seem odd, some of the things that, you know, I put on here, but we covered the same things over and over, simply because they are the reflection of what's really happen, happening in the global and macro markets. Uh, unrelated to the economy, but yet still uh, linked, uh, just from a, you know, broader standpoint that you have to understand that, uh, while there is some correlation to what is the underlying, it's the same thing with asset prices. There's a baseline correlation, but not an exact one. Uh, otherwise, you wouldn't have market multiples uh, that they always talk about. And that's the variable that's often forgotten when it comes to P ratios and things like that. Uh, there's a general idea, but then there's the forward potential of things. So where we talked about it uh, last, we were... Moving up here and talked about how we would likely trade sideways across within these algo levels uh, that we had reached some you know, additional positive extremes. Even the latest one up here at the peak point came back down to the next algo level uh, right in between the 3120 range and we have a little bit higher up in the 30s and just sort of cascaded softly. Uh, we get some power mode signals that clarified. Uh, that there'd be weakness, turn around positive, and then back and forth until uh, we ended up with a fairly decent soft signal there right midpoint, and then we just kind of uh, floated softly without a DOC steel reset, and that was the critical component of this continuation decline, was no reset until, uh, well, much later, uh, as we had this little spike here uh, in post-market, and that's given us a uh, dip to the lower, so that 75 range came back into play. And we're <laughs> working off the new build that came in from uh, this power two uh, positive side, as well as the dip of the orange below red. It started at the first one, uh, retraced the dip below the red line first, and then began its move back up. So all very consistent plays within what we would expect to see. Uh, nothing too shocking per se, other than just continuation of beautiful ranges. And you got to appreciate that uh, lovely stuff. As always, though, I will put anything unique up there. Trade well. We'll talk to you later.